230 volts to the spur gas. And, uh, so we are giving it a supply. And due to which uh, these gears are connected in series. And here we have connected the dynamo. Uh, the 230 volts get connected to the sacks of hard which is not in sacks. So after taking this one here, we give the pulse. So which can be further. Uh,
सर क्या अगर उसका आपने जैसा बोला है कि उसका सर आगे की जगह पीछे गिर सर आप कार में देखते हो कि आगे मौन का रहता है तो सर आगे गिरा तो मौन भी बच सकता है तो ये हम सर क्या पीछे पीछे भी लगा सकते हैं आगे मौन भी देखो पीछे भी लगा सकते हैं
and yeah, solar plate and this coupler and propeller. <coughs> then it also carries a so, uh, rechargeable battery. Good, good. But you also have a, a, a battery unit, suppose you have to store energy in it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It also yeah. works in battery also. Yeah. Because, sir, uh, this has to, this uh, panel has to uh, be captured. Energy. Then uh, the battery, it has to be stored in a battery. The battery has to supply the, uh, supply the energy to the machine. Yes, in battery. Yes, 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 battery. Yes,
city of the light moves higher and which which side of the LDR receives the more of the intensity mm. the solar panel will turn that side and which is the low it will bend down okay it works in four phase. tracking system for yes. basically tracking, tracking system tracking. for uh, solar, uh, solar plants solar yes already yes. they actually it moves uh, according to the intensity the yes due to it is afternoon now mm. it, it is in the middle So this is in solar panel by uh, inside we have a voltage regulator circuit. By voltage regulator circuit the battery will be charging and that uh, power will be used to uh, so I guess uh, the battery is now currently charging. Uh, inside we have placed yeah, yeah. LEDs inside, so at night the yeah, light will be... Okay. Whatever during day it produces, it gets stored and that is utilized yes. for running. Yes, Can you arrange the battery? No, no, no. 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 This controls This can be this has been installed on the top of the anywhere you can be on the top of the car or something.
I request Dr. P.B. Bhute Ma'am, Dean First Year, to kindly welcome him with a floral bouquet.
some data, you have done the project, but the basic concepts were asked, you were lagging in that. So the very first to take these two mantras, when you start the project, your groundwork must be perfect. Groundwork includes the literature survey. Second thing is, before you go for practically, you should know the theoretical knowledge about the concept as well. So if you have theoretical knowledge, then try to prove it. The, you know, you should have a mathematical model if you if it requires mathematics, if it requires calculation, and then you go for implementation. Take actual reading and compare, you know, what we speak about theoretically and how it works practically. So uh, please do literature survey before you launch and before you start with any project. And congrats, many congratulations to first year engineering department, the dean and the staff and the students as well for, uh, you know, standing since morning for exhibiting wonderful projects. Thank you, Mercy. Thank you. It's my proud privilege to introduce you to the gathering such a distinguished and eminent persona from the field of science and technology, Dr. Kameshwar Rao. Dr. Kameshwar Rao is a senior scientist and general manager of Remote Sensing Center and National Remote Sensing Center. He has done his PhD in agronomy from Indian Agriculture Research University, Delhi. He has experience of 24 years as scientist in National Remote Sensing Center, Department of Space. He is leading a team of 13 scientists with multidisciplinary backgrounds involved in R&D studies related to remote sensing, applications in agriculture, geology, forestry, watershed development, mobile application development for rural development. He is also involved in four major national projects, five regional projects, and eight research and development studies. Dr. Rao has guided about 10 postgraduate students, MTech and MSc, in their project work. His topics of interest for research are precision agriculture, crop monitoring, and remote sensing applications, and many more. Dr. Rao has contributed in 35 publications in technical volumes, presentation in national, international conferences and workshops. He is also a life member for various professional bodies such as ISRS, ISA and IMS. The exhibition has already been inaugurated by Dr. Rao. So now I request him to kindly give his feedback on the model's display. dignitaries on the dais, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. At the very outset, first, uh, I want to thank the college management for giving me an opportunity to be with you uh, for this exhibition. And uh, really, uh, really, I am very, I am thankful to the uh, organizers of this exhibition and for. Uh, uh, inviting me to participate in this one. I got a very good opportunity uh, <coughs> of interacting with you and then I feel uh, re-energized and uh, mm, so uh, even it went uh, I think beyond much uh, these uh, hours uh, but I never, I, I didn't feel uh, that exhaustion in these things so it's really very very heartening to see. Then I congratulate the students, most of the students who have participated in this organization, in this uh, uh, exhibition with their models. And I uh, am very happy to say really I am amazed at the uh, talent that has been showcased in this exhibition and uh, it shows the level of understanding you had and you were, uh, uh, what do you call, it? that uh, zeal to uh, solve some of the uh, problems of, uh, are to offer uh, some practical solutions for some of the problems uh, that we face in our day-to-day -day lives and uh, to uh, make our lives more comfortable. Yeah, uh, because uh, it is it is well said that Indians basically are the liberators of human beings. They are seen as liberators of human beings. Means they reduce the drudgery of uh, 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 human life by applying science to solve some of the problems. So in that way, I think most of you are, have, are more, more or less you are successful. I have whatever the models, the mini models I have seen here, really they are very much uh, mm, uh, apt uh, for, uh, to uh, solve some, uh, some of the problems uh, we face in our day-to-day -day lives. So that way, I am uh, really happy to 
the uh, note, the level of social awareness you have uh, and the zeal to work for pro solving the problems of uh, our daily lives. So I congratulate all the uh, students who have participated and definitely behind this work I can understand the amount of work that has been uh, put up by the faculty of this uh, college definitely because uh, good students come out of, uh, come out because basically because of good teachers only. If you, if you don't have good teachers, you cannot become good students. So that's the fundamental principle and fundamental relationship how it works. So I feel uh, the credit also goes to the uh, faculty of this college who have really definitely uh, I think spent a lot of time in uh, showcasing most of these uh, mini models and uh, the way the models have been uh, 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 generated here, I feel definitely they are, they are very good and some of them definitely they merit uh, to be uh, upscaled to uh, some sort of uh, uh, what you call this uh, startup program whatever uh, Prime Minister is uh, uh, thinking about. So some of these ideas uh, definitely merit a, a, a consideration uh, to be upscaled to a, a small startup program and I feel, I hope definitely some of these will definitely a, a, a get into the a level of uh, uh, commercial business ventures by the time you come out of your uh, college after four, four and a half years of uh, your study here. So I uh, really am very happy to, to see the, the talent that is exhibited by you people here. And uh, another uh, redeeming feature what I am seeing is uh, most of these things definitely they are all I think indigenous ideas and they are responses to the problems being faced by uh, uh, us Indians in our day to day lives. So the solutions are also uh, being uh, they, they are coming up from our uh, from your side. So they qual they well qualified to be under this uh, Make in India program also. So uh, that's also another uh, heartening feature of uh, this exhibition. Some of the ideas definitely they qualify to be. A, uh, uh, be classified under this uh, uh, Make in India program. So I wish all the participants to keep up their uh, uh, upgradation, technology upgradation, to keep up their skill, up, skill, skill upgradation so that uh, some of them who, can, who are really interested can get into this um, com uh, commercial business ventures once they come out of this uh, your uh, study, uh, enough uh, preparation uh, towards this. And, uh, I have seen, I think, uh, an explosion of ideas on a wide uh, variety of uh, applications, I think ranging from almost robotics to agriculture. That is only one or two uh, uh, areas which I didn't see is probably from aerospace applications, a few. I think, uh, I, think I, I, I don't see any model in that area. And uh, that is okay. Uh, there is both a, a space as well as uh, uh, the uh, defense related or something, but uh, good. And the the array of uh, uh, examples are quite uh, enough to merit a good uh, look at these things. So uh, I encourage the students to get into some of this aero modeling, aerospace applications also. So that uh, because that is also one of the important areas of uh, applications of science and technology for uh, our uh, country's development. So you can uh, think about that also. And uh, <coughs> what can I say? Really, it is. Uh, uh, I am. Uh, I am impressed uh, definitely by the uh, talent that is uh, expressed here. So I wish. I, I wish you all the very best. And only a few sessions from my side is basically you have to keep your eyes and ears open so that you was, uh, you have to up, uh, so that your skill upgradation and the technology upgradation will happen. And then you have to be aware to the uh, social situations around your places, uh, around your, around you. That means uh, you should be responsive to the problems, ground level problems uh, that exist in the society. And you should always think about how to solve these uh, solve these problems with the knowledge that I have, I am acquiring, I am going to acquire. So that the social awareness levels you have to keep up. And then we should always work towards. Uh, the uh, uh, salvation uh, the, to the uh, solving of our immediate problems like uh, our country generally uh, we have the problems of uh, 
uh, what is uh, um, uh, okay unemployment then uh, uh, okay uh, starvation still i think some part of some part of our society still suffers from problems like starvation so we should apply our knowledge and our technology towards solving these mundane problems like this and uh, of course high level of uh, uh, application of in for high uh, in high tech areas are also, is also uh, essential but uh, as a responsible engineer you should concentrate more upon uh, solving the uh, ground level problems of our uh, society so that is most of the people can definitely look at these problems and come on think about what can be done to solve this problem so that is another uh, session i want to make and uh, another one or two uh, sessions can be yeah you have to pick up a, a few role models from your own discipline uh, i know most of the people have uh, role models only belonging to the it sector information technology sector like uh, narayan murthy or uh, azim premji or like that because they are all okay business oriented models but i feel you should also have some role models from great engineers of our country i i think most of you may be knowing our some of our earlier engineers like uh, dr uh, mochmanna visveshwaraya uh, dr k l rao a famous civil engineer uh, some of his books have been followed as textbooks in uh, in europe so such we have a, a great tradition of such um, uh, eminent engineers so uh in addition to information technology uh, uh, sector we should also have role models from other branches of engineering and you pick up those things and pick up those people people study about them and try to emulate their working so that you can excel in your own field of choice so that is another uh, session i want to make and uh, <coughs> one more uh, session uh, that uh, that comes to my mind is See, sometimes uh, the, when you uh, when you when we start, once we start working in in a particular sector, you may not be immediately be able to meet with success. There may be failures, and sometimes situations sometimes it may they may arise that uh, you may feel dejected or you may feel dejected, you may feel dropped, you may feel uh, neglected. But never give up, never lose confidence in yourself, never. Uh, 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 lose your self-respect and self-esteem. So you uh, uh, try to invite, invite these qualities, and definitely success will be yours. And uh, if you <coughs> follow or if you try to uh, invite some of these qualities, definitely you will be successful, and you will you will be able to contribute to the development of our beautiful country also. Okay. Uh, in addition to this one, of course, on the other side, I also want to uh, suggest you. In addition to your regular academics and these things, you also have uh, certain other hobbies. You should also try to develop some of your hobbies. Like right? uh, some, you should uh, uh, try to appreciate certain finer things of life, like music. Then also. Uh, uh, like uh, art, art, art form, culture. This, this, these are some of the areas where you should develop interest, and also you should have some passion to travel. See, whenever you have some uh, free time and other things, not uh, spend your free time only on theaters or uh, uh, restaurants. Also, some uh, you can use some of your spare times to uh, travel in the country, go to. Uh, places uh, like uh, some uh, good forest areas you can uh, trek the uh, you can go for some trekking across the mountains or uh, sometimes you can even go to certain uh, cultural heritage or heritage sites like uh, forts or temples like that because um, uh, travel or exposure to these things definitely will give you uh, the to the uh, multicultural nature of our country our, our beautiful country so that definitely helps to broaden your outlook and uh, it uh, widens your horizon of uh, activities so with these small small uh, sessions which i thought i could uh, share with you i uh, express my thanks once again to the management and i wish you all the success in your uh, uh, academic uh, career right now 
So at the same time, of course, academic, academically it is very important. You should study hard, you should get good marks in your subject and you should pass out with the flying colors. At the same time, the other side of the life is also very important. So a balanced approach to you know, career as well as personal uh, life definitely will bring a lot of success in your careers. Thank you very much. Now, I request Dr. Bajaj to present a memento to Dr. Kameshwar Rao as a token of our respect and appreciation. Model coordinator, Dr. O.K. Chaudhary, sir, to kindly propose a vote of thanks. Dignitaries on the dais, of the dais and my dear students. Very good afternoon. I know you all very under. It is the last phase of your menu order. With profound sense of gratitude, I express my heart thanks towards Dr. SBC Kamisura Rao, General Manager and Senior Scientist. Uh, RSC ISRO Nagpur Division for accepting our invitation happily and being here to spend uh, for about half day with us and giving it valuable feedback. Thank you, sir. We definitely uh, and your suggestions for aero modeling and other applications in our mini model in future times. Our, my sincere thanks to our honorable chairman who is always a source of inspiration for us for encouraging the people to arrange such type of activities like R&D and to enhance the academic standards of the institute. I feel great to express my thanks to our director, Madam, Dr. P. R. Vajaj. We have been a great source of inspiration for all of us. Without her encouragement, such type of events would not have been a success. Uh, we are thankful to Dr. U.S. Vangade, Dean R&D, and uh, Professor KD Rusi, uh, Industry Industry Interaction Sale team uh, for support time to time and their guidance. We also express our thanks to external judges. There were external judges from the eminent uh, industry like uh, uh, Mr. Nitin Bhagavka, General Manager Bajasti, Mr. Paresh Kose, CEO. Green Plan Technology, Mr. Karthik Borika, KEM Was Industry, who is our alumni also, Mr. Neeraj Tiwari, Senior Manager, Mahindra and Mahindra, Dr. Hardas from GH Rajuni Engineering Institute and Academy. Uh, we have accepted our request and are here for judging uh, your models. We are also thankful to all attendees who have taken round and seen the models uh, along with their faculties and for their kind support. We are also thankful for the staffs of the HRC for visiting our exhibition and uh, their presence. I appreciate all students for making their uh, extra efforts to bring in terms of the model. And uh, I wish you all to innovate something better than this. And this is just your beginning. And I hope that you will bring the laurels to this college. Our thanks to PRO, to Mr. Yogesh, and uh, Mr. Nares, and other supporting staff for their 
untiring support to us. Thank you very much. Thank you all. One and all. Now I would like to request you to please stand up for the national anthem. <laughs>